Hello everybody. And in my previous video, I show how to uh, add the time zone to the date that were sent from Minichat to the spreadsheet using a custom function. In this case, the function was uh, well the name of the column minus plus or minus uh, the time zone divided by twenty four. So in this case. Uh, my time zone, I, I live in Lima, Peru, so my time zone is minus 5, which is why I'm using minus 5 here. And now I'm going to show you how to format this date and send it back to Minichat. Because some, uh, right now we have a lot of problems because um, Minichat stores the date and time in well in their own format in the American format, so it will show the month first and then the day, and also yeah it will show the 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 time the hour on UTC. So what I'm gonna do is uh, write uh, uh, the inf send information from any chat to this Google sheet to this spreadsheet um with the uh, custom formula uh get the, the hour, the, the current hour, well, actually the, the date on the, um, in the time zone that I need, which is UTC minus five. And then I'm gonna form, format the date using this other custom formula, custom for, uh, function, sorry, uh, to show it in a way that I want. So in my case, I wanna show you like day slash month slash year, space, hour, minutes and seconds and then I'm gonna send this value to uh, and set it in a custom field and then show it to the uh, subscriber so I already created the flow because I created uh, for a first video for a previous video uh, well this is my first message hello first name thank you for your message so yes a silly message and um, here are my options um after I said these actions, I will send uh, the current date time, which I am using uh, a custom field called here it is TS. Sorry, so TS current date time text uh, because it's um, a text and uh, well, a text custom field. And I'm going to show you here the the one on the daytime field so i'm going to find it okay so now you you will be able to see both uh, custom fields to see the difference and here are my actions so first of all i am uh, setting this uh, custom field, which is TS current date time, to the date time of the action, so that I will get the current date time. And this is a custom a date time custom field. Then I have a a bot field, which is called GS row, which is the number of the row that I where I am inserting. So I started it on one, and each time uh, some uh, a subscriber goes to this flow, it will be increased by one, okay? Also, I am going to set the custom field, which is user row, uh, to that previous uh, bot field, because uh, each user will have a specific uh, row. And also, I am setting a custom field, which is called GS formula. Um, well, actually, it was in Spanish, but uh, it's to, which is equal to B in my case, because I am going to save the data on my column B, B, G is row, because it will be B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, depending on the row, minus 5 divided by 24, which is, uh, as I told you before, the time zone. In my case, UTC minus 5. And 
then I am also creating, creating another uh, custom field, which is called format formula, uh, which is this one. It has this, uh, uh, this uh, function that I will uh, show it in the comments, because here what I'm doing is extracting parts of this um, date and time information. So I, I will be able to format in my own way. I am using doing this in a in a uh, function instead of formatting here, because it will uh, let me uh, do in in line online. Sorry. So as soon as the user, as soon as I put information here in this spreadsheet, I will be able to extract it and show it to the user. And then I am just inserting the row. So this is my spreadsheet, which is called which is called Ora. Uh, which is our in Spanish, then my worksheet, which is called Pagina One, and I am sending this information full name to my column name, uh, name, TS current date time to UTC time mini chat, time zone, the time zone here. I'm not using it uh, right now, but I will probably use it later, which is why I'm sending it right now. GS formula, which is the one that has the minus five divided by 24. So I will have the hour on the correct time zone. User row, which is the row of the user. I know you will probably ask why I am having the row if I know it from here, but I will use it to, as a lookup column in the next step. And also I have this uh, format formula, which is the last one. Uh, so this is this big uh, function to extract the the day, the the month, and everything, and format in a way that I want. And I'm going to save it. Then my also my next step, I, I could have added here, but I wanted to do it in a separate action. So here is a, another action called get uh, data, get row by value, sorry. And I selected again my spreadsheet called Ora, my worksheet called Pagina One, and here it is. My lookup column, it's called Row, which is this one. So I know which row I have to get information from. Um, then uh, the value is going to be the custom field called GS user row. And I have all this uh, information, but I only need this formatted date which I am storing here as TS current daytime text. Remember that I have this other custom field, which is um, which type is text. So I'm gonna cancel. Um, well, I already showed you that I will show both uh, values. So let's do a preview. Here, it's the, my message. Uh, hello, Vanessa. Thank you for your message. You just subscribe at um, this is the custom field that I getting from uh, the spreadsheet, which is in my time zone, uh, which it says uh, 31st of December at 15, so, sorry, 17, 39. So it's 5 p.m. And here is how the custom field would look if I just use it the daytime custom field if I show if I show to the user the date and custom field. So this is an easy, easy way to format the date and time. And I hope it would it will be useful for you. Sorry for my broken English. I usually I actually make the videos in Spanish all the time. Well, not all the time, but most of the time. So, because I know my English is not that good. But I hope it really helps you. Thank you for saying this. Bye.